wonderful. <laughs> okay, well, welcome to everybody um, who are currently not on, but will be on. Um, so this is the expansion and brand of my line. Um, so for those of you who know, you know, and if you don't know, you're soon to know. Um, I am Calvin. I have my own, I am a tailor in town. I have my own line of cloth. Um, and create clothing for gentlemen in town, but now we're expanding the brand into shoes. Uh, and so I thought for this whole big thing that we would do a live stream um, and join with me is Kimberly. Um, and if you recognize Kimberly, it's probably because she's spent millions of your dollars on cruise ships. Um, hi, Kimberly. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> so Kimberly and I actually have known each other for years. Yes, it's 2007. Uh, 2007? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we went to college together in Toronto. Um, and Kimberly um, decided to take off and go celebrate and live her life on cruise ships. Yeah, you know, uh, a six-month contract turned into a six-year career, and here we now are. Exactly. <laughs> so we thought we'd do a whole shopping channel-esque type of thing um, with the shoes and to celebrate them and to show them off a little bit more. So we'll start off with um, the presenting the shoe collection to you um, and the blockbuster for this this evening's whole thing. So. Um, the shoes are done in a pre-order type of sale right now um, online, so you can go on to calvinbucksbespoke.com. Um, hi to everyone who's waving. Hi back. Um, the shoes can actually be pre-ordered online, um, and they are set to arrive early July um, in your size. So if you'd like, um, for this week, uh, we are doing a uh, blockbuster or a gift with purchase, if you will, um, for a free pair of shoe trees Ooh. along with, yes, very exciting, <laughs> um, along with every purchase of shoe. Um, so with shoe trees, um, these ones are actually made out of cedar wood, uh, which is so beneficial oh, yes. um, to shoes, um, as we all know. So cedar is actually a really absorbent wood to have in a shoe. Um, and what happens is as we wear our shoes, we actually sweat about half a cup uh, worth of sweat a day, which is really gross, but the shoe trees... <laughs> it's weird that you know that. <laughs> yes, I know a lot of things, can we? <laughs> no, but so the shoe trees are meant to absorb um, the sweat that we produce throughout the day, um, and it helps to actually go into the shoe um, and take out all of um, the odors that occur um, and the moisture that's in there to keep them looking fresher longer. So with every pre-order, of shoe you do, you get a free pair of shoe trees and the value is $180. So with every purchase you get, it's $180 for your for your purchase. Yeah. So No, and that's so smart. I mean, that really is the smartest purchase. If you're really investing and in, in finding such quality shoes, you wanna take care of it. You wanna make sure that you're getting that return and that you're always looking your best. And these honestly are gorgeous shoes. I'm so excited for you to explain them to oh, us. Oh, so pumped, so pumped. So, <laughs> The shoes are actually made from out of Spain, which I'm, which is kind of the best thing. So, um, fancy. with fancy, fancy, fancy. Right? with men's dress shoes, um, Italy and Spain are kind of the best places to go because they have the best leathers mm -hmm. in the world. Yes, um, and some of the best craftsmen actually come from Spain. And um, hi to everyone who's waving. Hi back. Um, the best leathers either come from Italy or Spain. And the great thing about craftsmen in Spain is that they really do take pride in their work and yes. what they do. Oh yeah. Um, so the collection today, um, we're showing four shoes here, and we'll walk you through each kind of shoe as it is, but um, I kind of want to do the first one as the patent, um, because it actually was brought in for a client, so it's not in Ooh. the regular, yes, it wasn't in the regular lineup, but there are going to be four shoes um, online at calvinbuttsbespoke.com, you can go on and pre-order, again, shoes are true to size, um, but for this guy here, so the patent leather loafer, Ooh. or not loafer, rather lace up. Um, is is kind of like it's the kind of shoe to have for every formal occasion. It's so well. sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just oh my god. <laughs> um, surprisingly, with COVID, we are doing a lot of well, we we I and <laughs> doing a lot of. <laughs> I'm just here to drink the bottle. <laughs> um, I'm doing a lot of tuxedos, and they do get a lot of compliments on the tuxedos. And so uh, for a client, I had brought in a tuxedo shoe. Um, in that patent lace up, um, and it is um, it is quite a sexy shoe to oh, have. Yeah. Um, so it's stitched properly. It's got the leather bottoms on it, um, the patent leather on the top, and of course your six hole lace up on that shoe there as well. Um, and the thing I love about these shoes and what um, 
um, I guess shoemakers don't really, or people don't really pay too much attention to, I guess shoemakers will, but the customer won't, is how the shoe actually lays on the table. So when you're walking around town, a good way to identify if a dress shoe is proper or not, or if it's made well, yeah. is the curvature that it has in the toe. So if your shoe is coming up quite high off the table, um, typically that shoe isn't made as well as it could have been. Um, yeah, so you always want a little bit of a lift off of the toe there, but not too much where it's curling. Um, and with the patent loafers, they are a really sexy shoe. Oh my have. gosh, it's just, it's so effortlessly gorgeous. Like the curves, the shine, it's... It's sleek. It's just, it's just oh my gosh. So yeah. sleek, so <laughs> sleek. Um, and again, they are brought in from Spain. They are made from an actual cobbler who makes the shoe properly. Um, now, what I love about all the shoes, and we'll continue to reiterate this throughout, is that the shoe is actually, all of the shoes will form to your foot because they are made from a proper leather. Um, and what I really love about these shoes is, although they are your classic style, so your grandfather would have worn these shoes, your father would have worn these shoes, and you will wear these shoes because they are such classics. Yes. And classics are major to have in your wardrobe. Oh my gosh, it's just, why wouldn't you have those essentials? Right. Yeah, we know from COVID that people go into their closets and a lot of people are being hired to go into people's closets just to clean them out. Oh yeah, edit and, and, and just really take inventory of what you have and it, you have to make sense. Yeah. Why would you have a ton of shoes that don't make sense when you can have a few dependable, gorgeously crafted right. essential shoes? And they'll go with every suit. Oh my gosh, yeah. Everything. Every like, yeah. Blacks. Just works. Blues. Grays. Grays. Checks. Checks. Ooh. What about a herringbone? Mm. Mm. I love a, a herringbone. Nice, a nice little herringbone. Yeah. Yeah, maybe then like a deep gray. Oh, but so, so we brought in the blacks. We, I, again, <laughs> the universal we. <laughs> Here for the bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> brought in the blacks. So we started off the collection with blacks because blacks go with everything. I mean, it is, I mean, if you do unfortunately have to go to a funeral or if you're going to a wedding or if you're going to that first job interview with yes. that new company it's always good to have a pair of black shoes. They're so, so essential in every man's wardrobe that you just, yeah. you have to have it. I mean, the first thing that someone will notice about you is the shoes. Yes. So why not make that statement? You need that classic essential. Yeah. And what I love about these shoes and good, well-made shoes, and especially the ones I've had before I've had my own line of shoes, is that they last you 15 years. I mean, you have them resold a couple of times throughout their life and they will just continue to last you if you take care of them. Um, and shoe trees help to do that. Yes. So again, absorb that sweat. Yeah, absorbing all of that moisture <laughs> in your shoe. And again, uh, when you order online, when you pre-order online, three pair of shoe trees, one hundred and eighty dollars. It's a value that you get included with your pre-order purchase. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, they're. I mean, they're wonderful. I mean, just, just this shoe alone. I mean, I, mm. I want. <laughs> Essentially what's going to happen with the line is there will be a lace-up and there will be down the road a loafer that comes in as well with a beautiful grove grain around the top of it. Um, they're still in designing, um, but we did want to bring in this one first, especially because the client is getting married uh, later in the summer oh, here. So. That's so exciting. Yeah. Congratulations so, if you're watching. And the tuxedo turned out amazing. Yes. So, well, of course. Why wouldn't it be? You <laughs> yeah, made it. Right, yeah. <laughs> Trained under a third generation tailor. Like, how could you not, not make a proper suit? No, you you're know? an expert. That's why your clients come to you. That's why you're so trusted and yeah. dependable in your work. Yeah, thank you. Um, so yeah, so the patent shoe is, is something special that's coming in, uh, but part of the major line of shoes here, there's three that are shown today, okay. um, and the fourth one is not coming in until later on, but it will be a brogue. Um, so you have your classic cap toe, um, your monk strap, and then your plain toe with the medallion on it. So this whole cut shoe with the medallion. This one I love. I, I love. This, this one here, this is like your boardroom shoe. So this is what you're going to work with. Um, on a daily basis. Yeah. A little bit more formal, um, but can be worn out to dinners. Like it's just, it's transitional. Yeah. It moves from atmosphere to atmosphere. Very dapper. Very but dapper. without trying too hard. Right. It's just, it's just effortless, really. You yeah. know, when you see, just again, the sleek curves, a little bit of the detailing, it's just, it really, really works. Yes. And the Italians have a phrase, it's called, um, and I'm going to butcher this so badly. <laughs> Sprezzatura, uh, which basically just means 
like an effortless sophistication about it. Sprezzatura. 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 And it's all about just <laughs> the ease of putting yourself together without thinking. And that's what I like to bring to my clients. It's yes. just building them a wardrobe where they can just go into their closet and just pick something out and just wear it with with ease. Yeah, no, and it's, it also has that confidence level where something such as this shoe, with whatever pad or whatever suit you're wearing it with, you have that confidence knowing that it works. And you don't have to say, is this too trendy? Is this dated? Will someone question what I'm wearing? Because you've done the work for them. Yeah. You've given them the confidence that these are beautifully crafted products with the quality, with the craftsmanship. There's yeah. no there's no question about it. Like why why aren't you owning these shoes already? Yeah. Why haven't we done this before? <laughs> And what I love about it is that the leathers are premium leathers so oh. that they will actually mold with wear. So as you wear them, they will actually form around your foot, which is great. But the benefit to these shoes and what, what I love about these shoes and what the cobbler does with them is he actually, on the bottom and inside of the sole, it's actually warm cork what? that's applied to the inside. So it's cork that goes along the bottom and it, it's put in properly in in terms of like distribution. So okay. they've distributed it properly within that foot. And the benefit to all of that is the same thing as the leathers when they get warmed up around the foot. The cork does the same thing. So that when you wear your shoe over time, that cork as it gets heated up, it really does form to your foot. So this really becomes another part of you. It becomes just another piece that just fits comfortably on your body. So the shoe becomes you. The shoe becomes you. And you are the shoe. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't get more custom than that. No, no. And it's, I mean, again, they'll last you forever. Yeah. And the benefit to these guys and the great thing to these guys is that they can be resold. Yes. Um, a lot of ready-to-wear shoes off the market aren't made with this level of quality, so they can't actually be resold. So the, for the amount of money you spend over a lifetime of a shoe, you save a ton of money yeah. with these rather than buying something that's off the rack, yeah. right? No, that's powerful. I mean, yeah. if you're spending your hard-earned money yeah. and you're wanting that quality and you're wanting that confidence, why wouldn't you buy something that has such great structure and materials? Yeah. It, it just, it's a no-brainer. Really, it comes down to it. It's a no-brainer. Yes. You're spending half, how much of your day do you spend on your feet? All of it. I know I stand <laughs> all day in my job. So what I'm putting on my feet is so important. Yes. I'm investing in myself and I'm investing in how I look. And that's exactly what these shoes come down to. Yeah. And, you know, gentlemen, if you're wearing these shoes, you're not just investing in yourself. Women are going to notice. I can tell you that. If I saw a man walking and wearing these shoes, I am impressed and... Maybe I want to chat you up. Maybe I want to get to know you. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, again, effortless. I mean, effortless. you just slip them on and it fits you and you've worn them. And men wear their shoes day in and day out. They mm. will not often rotate. Yeah. And it's always beneficial to rotate your shoes. So every 24 hours, it's nice to give your shoes a break. And again, that's why the shoe tree is so important. It holds the form of that shoe. It prevents wrinkles along that bridge line there. And it just really does absorb all that moisture throughout the day, takes out any odors. Um, and if you pre-order this week, again, $180 value included within that purchase. So you get a free pair of shoe trees with every shoes that are purchased. Um, and really it's just savings in your pocket because these will actually allow you um, to wear your shoes longer. Which, and they're gorgeous. Yeah. It's, no. I, I'm a sucker for gold and just that little detailing, it's just really, it'll complement really well. Yeah. So as it's in your closet, in your wardrobe, it, it's not an eyesore, it actually, I think it actually looks gorgeous. It's polished and yeah. it's finished. Yes. Yeah. No, and they're, I mean, they're wonderful. I mean, I have, of course, for every pair of shoes that I have, yeah. I will put them in just to keep that form there so that as that shoe does mold around you, mm -hmm. um, that shoe tree will again help to keep that shape to where it needs to be, yeah. which is so important. So then you, you become the shoe. The shoe is you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's exactly how that works. Yeah. yeah. No, and I mean... Even with this lineup here, um, as we look at it, these next shoes here, um, the stitching detail on them, mm -hmm. I love. So they've used a twin needle stitching on them, and these are the monk straps. And these oh. along the cap toe there, stunning, wow. stunning shoes. And you can see them closer online at calvinbuttsbespoke.com. Um, and these ones I've had the most compliments on. So when working with the cobbler, I really wanted a shoe that had a nice rounded point to it. Okay. 
Um, I really didn't want something that was squared off. I felt that that's, you know, it's, it's too much. I want a, a rounded toe where um, the gentleman and shoemakers in the UK will do something that's really quite narrow um, in the front of the foot and really quite narrowed off. And I wanted something that was just a little bit more voluptuous, Ooh. more plump. Yes. yes. <laughs> Having those curves Having, all in the right places. Exactly. And so when designing the shoe, we really did work with the last in getting that shoe form just right. And what I love about this shoe is the buckles mm. because the buckles follow the shape of the shoe. Just it's you've <laughs> got to be coherent with it. You've just got to look at it and go, yeah, it needs to fit the yeah. whole look of the shoe. Um, and even before these hit um, my my stock room floor, um, I know I had gentlemen asking about them, inquiring about them. Yeah. We did, I think, four pre-orders for them even before they came in. Um, hot ticket item. Oh yeah, they're bold, but in a really confident way. It's just, yeah, yeah. I, you well, know, you see it, and you really see that attention to detail. Yes. You see those iconic designs, but keeping it fresh, keeping it, you know, it's timeless. Yeah. And really, again, just that great statement. You're gonna step into the boardroom in those shoes. Right. Step out maybe for a first date or romancing your wife, taking her out for dinner, and you're really going to feel that extra pep in your step. Yeah. No. You're gonna get compliments. I promise you, and wearing those shoes, like people are gonna be like, where did you get those? Why can't I not have those in my closet already? Right. And they're gonna ask you. Like, don't be shy about it. Tell the world. Right. And men love a good monk strap. Yeah. No, they do. Oh yeah. Um, the great thing about these is that they're actually considered a really casual shoe. Mm. Um, they aren't your typical shined up lace ups. Yeah. Um, they have a little bit more to them. And so these with a chino, oh, yeah. With a rolled up jean, yeah. I mean you can dress these up in any way you wanted to and wear them as casually as you wanted, yeah. right? And again, it's that versatility, it's, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, and you can even do it with no-show sock. I mean, you don't have to wear traditional dress socks with it. You can do a no-show sock and wear it out in the summer. I'm a and fan. Get with it. Yeah. I, I love a good no-show, like, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a nice, clean, summer, easy look just yes. to throw on a nice dress shoe with a polished look, but you yeah. can still, you know, wear it for the summer. I know we have uh, Packwood Grand coming up, um, which, I mean, I'm super pumped for a couple of gentlemen who are actually getting pieces for Packwood. Yes. Um, Best dress event of the season. That's what they say. Yeah. That's what they <laughs> say. But these will actually be done um, in a caramel, hopefully for a couple of oh. them, so in a lighter tan color um, for Packwood, just because they do have that casual look to them that mm -hmm. you can throw on you know, a seersucker jacket oh. and some white linen pants. You know, seersucker is the way to my heart. <laughs> seersucker is the way to go. In the summer, I, I've been doing dress shirts and seersucker for a lot of gentlemen. They'll be wearing them quite casually, yeah. um, even with that shorter sleeve that's been rolled up a little bit. Um, seersucker is such, yeah. a, a, such a good way to go for summer. And Calgarians don't wear enough of it. No, and, and I'm really excited about this summer as well. Like, I'm really, I'm, I've seen the changes. I'm feeling the excitement. And, mm. and I think something like that is, you know, it's it's light again. It's, it's easy to wear. And... I think, you know, it's time for us to refresh. Like, how many people have been wearing the same sweatsuit every day now since yeah. we've all been at home or working from home? And it's time to, to get out there, rebrand yourself, refresh yourself, step out with confidence, yeah. and refresh your wardrobe. With a nice image. Yeah. Come with a nice it image. feels great to get all dressed up. <laughs> Doesn't it, though? It feels wonderful. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Yeah. No, and it's, I mean, a lot of people are looking, again, looking at their closets going... How do yeah. I edit this? How yeah. do I pare it down? And what do I want myself to look like exactly. in the next couple of years? I know yeah. a lot of people are going through their midlife crises Oof. at 30 and going, oh God, yeah. is this what my life has become? And you're like, well, time to spruce it up a bit. Exactly. Yeah. So, edit, adjust, yeah. and be positive, move forward. Yeah. It's exciting. That's like my favorite thing of fashion is that you can reinvent yourself. You can you know, switch it up. Like there's no set rules. Yeah. And it's great. And we've been wearing, again, the same tracksuits yep. day in and day out, yep. um, going Those you know, from, our, from our bed <laughs> to our, our half desk doing our work. And it's like, no, people want to get out and wear bolder patterns. Yes. And that's, that's great. Make a and statement. Especially when you can like pare it down with a nice classic shoe. Yes. Yeah. You don't want to go bold everywhere. You want to be able to, again, pare it back down to a piece that you can go, yeah, this fits with everything yes. that I want to do. Yeah. yeah. And you know it fits because it's molded to you. Yeah. So the shoe is you, you are the shoe, and yep. it's just going to work with everything in your wardrobe. Yeah. Again, premium leathers, they mold right to your foot. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and then again, the cork that's applied on the inside, it's applied with uh, the proper amount of distribution to it so that you know when your foot spreads out when you walk, you're comfortable in your shoe. That's so cool. I've never heard of that before. I guess I've just never really thought of what really goes into the construction of my shoe and how it's done. And yeah. I, I just see something gorgeous and I want to wear it. But you know, knowing how it's made, yeah. knowing the precision and just those little details, I think yeah. that's really special to know that there is that that extra extra touch to your shoes. And especially as a tailor, um, I mean, I look into a lot of things before I jump into them. I'm oh, yes. a very calculated risk yes. kind of person. Yes. I mean, even with the cloth that I bring in, I want to know that the cloth, the mills that I'm dealing with are proper mills. They're not blended fabrics or they're not, you know, sent overseas and dealt with in a, in a poorer way. I want to know that, you know, all of my cloth comes from a fifth, sixth, seventh generation family. Yeah. I want to know that what you're wearing is worth wearing. Oh yeah. And, and that's where the confidence comes in. And again, that's why your clients come to you. Yeah. You have done the research. You have done what you need to do to ensure that the end result that they're going to be getting is, is what they're looking for. And I think that's so special. You know, a lot of people, you see the fast fashion and people cutting corners and, and just knowing that you have that time and detail right. to really take care of people. Yeah. And and it shows. I mean, the quality, like outrageous. It's it's. I'm lost for words. Yeah. No. And and again, I mean, just making sure that the clients are taken care of. Yes. I don't want a client going into his closet going, oh god, I have all of these pieces. I don't know what to wear today, or I don't feel comfortable putting these shoes with that outfit. Yeah. No matter what you buy with me, I will always walk you through what you can wear with it. Yeah. Because it's so important to know where your pieces are appropriate. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't wear the patent loop the patent shoe um, out on a day-to-day -day basis but for an evening shoe how great would that be for oh an my evening gosh. shoe? Oh. yeah you know going to going to a show you know going to the theater yeah. going to a nice when they open oh my gosh I <laughs> me in dreamland over here <laughs> wanting to get out and be all be all social again but you know it is it's hopeful it's exciting you know to be but, able to see you know you have these pieces that you're adding these pieces so that when we do open up or when we are able to go out and really enjoy ourselves again you are feeling as handsome and as confident as you can right or even i mean just doing a picnic in the park oh my god oh, putting on a nice little oh, pair of trousers and some patent shoes exactly. and just making a little bit of a thing of it a yeah. nice date if exactly you, will. you know celebrate your life yeah be big be bold why not yeah i mean we got the time we're not doing anything <laughs> so true though it's so true i know just celebrate the little <laughs> things every day <laughs> um fancy so again everything's available to see online calvinbuttsbespoke.com you can see closer up pictures to them um nothing is over the top um i guess aggressive is yeah. the way i'm gonna put it discreet elegance mm -hmm. um is typically how i like to describe myself and the yeah. way i design things it's a discreet luxury so you don't want anything that's too flashy because it's very I think too much yeah. for um, for the world to take on when you, you start to see labels posted all over you. Yeah, because so. you want it to be eye-catching and sophisticated, but yeah. without trying too hard. Right. Yeah, and that's where I mean, even when I'm making suit jackets for gentlemen, that's where the touch and feel comes into it. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you are buying a cashmere jacket, yeah. and a woman comes up to hug you, she stays on you just a little bit longer because you feel <laughs> I'm good. Of that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, what is this? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, you, you cling to them for yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So it's the same thing with the shoes. We make well-made shoes, or my cobbler makes well-made shoes. Um, premium leathers, um, they mold to your foot. I mean, there's nothing better than a shoe that really just molds to your foot. Yeah. I know women have a really hard time with shoes. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's... The comfort level on women's shoes. And I have I'm tiny told. feet, so I struggle to begin with. And it's it's so hard to be being confident and and knowing that what you have in your closet and what you're reaching for every day is is going to work out for you and that yeah. it's never yeah. never a risk never never an injury waiting to happen Oof. right and i mean as we look at it i mean most gentlemen will often again go to the same two or three shoes excuse that two or three shoes all the time like they'll just continually go to the same shoes all the time mm -hmm. and so it's nice to be able to just go yes i want my classic cap toe shoe but perhaps i also want my monk strap as well yeah i mean having a couple pairs to alternate back and forth is so important and i think really i think when you look at this collection and what you're bringing in it's 
It's about bringing it back to basics. And, you know, we talked about this before, of you know, reanalyzing your wardrobe and, and seeing what we have. But again, I find that this past year and beyond, you kind of really revalue mm. what's in your life and what you have and what you want. And you want to say, what kind of man am I presenting to the world when I leave? Right. How do I look? How do I feel? And when you're editing your wardrobe, whether it be your suits and your shoes, it really does bring you back to what you want to project. And, and people see that and people notice that. I, I look at people's shoes all the time and that's something, you know, they do say the first thing that someone will notice about you is your shoes. Right. And I'm so guilty for wearing mine down to like the bone. Oh yeah. Um, for any clients who know who have come in on a regular basis, I mean, my shoes have holes in the bottom <laughs> of them just because I do not have time to take them in and have them resold. Oh my gosh. When I find a pair of shoes that I love or that works for me, I honestly like, I have it in every color. And sometimes I have a few pairs of shoes that I wear for work that I have the same shoe, the same color, like three of them because I'm like, yeah. I know this works. I know this looks great. And that's what I think this collection reflects for you. Absolutely. It's, you know, it, you know it will work and you just want to have one in every style. Boom, done. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And I mean, even to the point where, you know, if you want, I can call you every six months or every eight months and go, hey, Joe Smith, listen. Yeah. I know you bought some shoes. They're about due for conditioning. Um, you can bring them in. I will have someone take care of it for you, of course full service. Yes. I have no problem doing that. Or it may spur you to take it to your cobbler or shoemaker and go, Hey, I need these touched up. Yeah. Um, we have such dry climate. Oh my gosh. Here no. in Calgary. Do not remind me. <laughs> I, I, I'm probably the worst for saying this, but I do sometimes miss that, that Ontario humidity that mm. just moistens you, but <laughs> <laughs> nothing like a good moistening. <laughs> just suck on a humid. <laughs> No, and it's so important to keep your shoes properly maintained and conditioned. So, you know, every six to eight months, condition your shoes. Um, make sure they're polished and cleaned up. Um, it just makes them last that much longer. And when your, your shoes last you 15 years, I mean, if you buy four pairs of shoes that are different shoes and they last you 15 years and those are the only shoes you wear, I mean, you're doing great. That's wild. Like, it's crazy. That's, it, how could you not? I don't know why you wouldn't. That's yeah. like, that's to me, it's just the most basic thing. Yeah, absolutely. But. <laughs> no. And again, I mean, looking at that boardroom esque shoe, mm -hmm. it's nice. It's clean. It's simple. I mean, every day to day work kind of thing, but it can take you right to the boardroom all the way to something you can wear in the office, yeah. in a boardroom, or I mean, if you're going out for drinks with friends afterwards, or if you're going for a walk in the park yeah. or going on a simple date, that's a great simple shoe. That's not too dressed up. Can you imagine that shoe walking down Stephen Avenue on a first date? Yeah. You're feeling confident. You're feeling great. Somebody passes you and they're like, hey, great shoe. Yeah. She's going to be like, oh my gosh. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. It, Second date. Done. Boom. Like, yeah. guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed. But not guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> not a match made. You better have a per personality to back that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can wear the shoe and the shoe becomes you. But, but. <laughs> when you become the shoe... <laughs> Absolutely. And then, so those are the first two, I guess first three. Um, again, this one is sold out, mm -hmm. but can be pre-ordered. Yes. So again, everything is pre-ordered online for right now um, because we are launching the shoe and showing the collection. You yeah. can go online and order them or pre-order them. Um, it takes, I want to say, you know, about five weeks for it to show up at yeah. your doorstep. Or if you want to come pick it up here, that's fine. I ship across Canada, so it's not just Calgary. It's across Canada. Um, so if you are going to those weddings, you know, great shoes to have, yeah. easy to wear with a nice suit, you know, yeah. crisp, fresh press suit, Ooh. always nice. Yes. So within that, um, the cap toe, mm. the classic cap toe shoe, <laughs> um, this one here, I mean, your grandfather wore this, your father wore this, your uncles wear this. I mean, it's my future husband wears it. Yeah. Yeah. So true. <laughs> That's the way it's gonna be. <laughs> It'll be a Calvin Butt shoe, yeah. no doubt. Oh yeah. my god! Like, <laughs> why would you not? <laughs> you know, designing the suits, the whole thing, the whole shebang, the whole thing. I mean, again, going back to the patent, the amount of tuxedos I've been doing. Yeah. Even though COVID's been going on. Why does it still happen? Like, it's I'm actually shocked, and it's really exciting to see, you know, people overcome, and it's it's gorgeous to see how they're adjusting and. Yeah. And you're noticing, I think you notice like the suits and the shoes and, and you know, the women's dress as well, a little bit more because all the attention is just on that. 
Right. It's not like well, the bridal party, not I mean, about this or that or this or that. It's them, and they look good. But they're spending more, too. Oh, my God, yeah. Because it's it, all about you. It's I. Uh, well, the venue's not there. I want people to be as selfish as they can on their wedding day. Yeah. Like. Yeah. But the smaller weddings. Yes. I mean, they're just spending so much more on the outfits. Yes. The dresses are more expensive. The mm -hmm. tuxedos are more expensive. But you'll look good. Oh, my God, you look damn good. Yeah. And then they do yeah. the parties later on when yeah. we have time to Exactly. Get out and, party. and then you'll be busting those shoes out again, busting that suit out again. Again, being able to really integrate that into your life. Absolutely. And it just great, makes sense. The great thing about all of it is it's not just if you buy it for a wedding, you're not wearing it to just a wedding. No. No, you're wearing it your whole life. Yeah. You're wearing it to every job interview you do. Um, securing investments. I know there are a lot of entrepreneurs out there who yes. are looking for money or to bring things in. Yeah. Um, that's, you know, a classic collection of shoes is always important. Oh my and gosh, yeah. Especially in Calgary, like it's, we're booming right now and there's so much great minds and great, great potential and people yeah. are really gaining that confidence and really busting out, you know, the good stuff. Yeah. And that's, that's these. Yeah. And I mean, in terms of like money to value, I mean, You'll buy three pairs of these shoes, and again, 15 years down the road, yeah. you'll you'll have them, you know, you'll buy new ones, but the amount of money you'll save over time is just incredible. Um, and again, so everything is pre-ordered. Yeah, and I, and I love that. Yeah. You know, it's made for you in your size, and... And you know it's coming to you. Exactly. Yeah. Good things, don't rush a good thing. I'll no. tell you that. Yeah. This is worth the wait, because it's really, again, comes back to that attention to detail, yeah. and the quality and the materials. They're not rushing this. Like, um, they're so gorgeous. <laughs> and that's I, that's the great thing I loved about my mentor, was that clients would come to the shop and they would say, no rush. Yes. No rush, make an outfit for me, but no rush. And he would take his time doing it and he would make him a great outfit. I mean, he was in business for, still is for like 50 years. That's so incredible. I mean, you know, the quality is where you allow it to be. Yes. So if you give it time and let it, you know, do its thing, you will end up with a beautiful piece, yeah. which is really, really quite nice. Oh, most definitely. It's yeah. it's something that I, I value, and I, I feel like that's something that's very, very essential for you and oh, yeah. and, and your clients. It, it just shows, and really, it's, it's a respected value. Yeah, absolutely. So the whole collection here, I mean, so we're pre-ordering yeah. um, true to size. So if you're a nine, you're buying a nine. I mm -hmm. mean, it's, it doesn't get more complicated than that. And that's the great thing about buying shoes is that um, when you go and you know you're a nine, you know you're a nine, and you can buy it with confidence. Do they do half sizes? We can do half sizes, okay. yeah. If you have odd feet, I can do odd feet for you. You send me an email, you say, hey, <laughs> Calvin, I'm an eight and a half on my left and a nine on my right. I'm like, all right. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. People, I'll... everybody's different. Every body is different, and that's that's the gorgeous benefit of having a custom made shoe it's it's made for you you become the shoe the shoe is you that's right i mean when you become part of your wardrobe i mean that's just <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just the way that it is it's spratatura spratatura <laughs> <laughs> absolutely no i love it so yeah so the collection so you have your whole cut you have your monk strap you have your cap toe and eventually down the road there will be a brogue it is late in production but we are working on it so the brogue will come later on and what I love about this first delivery of shoes is that it is in the classic black. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, it is the easy shoe to wear. And it is done with such precision. I mean, again, the double stitching, the twin, needle, twin needling on the front of the toe caps, the attention to detail on the back of the shoes. Again, you can see everything at calvinbuttsbespoke.com. You can go online and view the shoes up close. Um, and even on the sole of the shoe or even on the back end um it's just the subtle elegance yeah. of all of it so the initials cb are in it so calvin butt so if you're sitting down with clients or you're walking out and people start to really pay attention to you they will notice yes that's a calvin butt spoke shoe yeah that's proper quality that man knows what he's doing yeah 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 it's always so important to know that if a suit fits you well, if a shoe fits you well, people do notice. They yes. do take notice of all of that. Oh yeah, and, and a well-fitting suit is just really gives you extra confidence. Yeah. And it's just, it makes sense. Why would you, you're not gonna walk around in shoes that aren't your size, so why no. are you walking around in a suit that doesn't fit you properly? Right. It's a very simple situation. And you know, as again, every body is different. Uh, clothes don't fit you just off the shelf. No, Like never. It's not a one size fits all in, like 99.9% nine, nine of the time. You've got to adjust, you've got to switch it up and it makes you look good when it fits you well. And it's interesting to see, even with a lot of contracts around town to do alterations with different companies and clients, 
is that people are becoming more comfortable having alterations done to their clothes because the sales associate will say, hey, you know, we can make it fit you. You don't have to just settle yes. for something that's just there. Yes. You can have something that's custom and a little bit more special. And people jump at that opportunity. Oh my god, yeah. I, yeah. I do all the time. I'm, I'm sh very short. I'm an awkward shape. So it's, you got to make it work for you. And again, it just brings it back to the basics. Bringing it to your confidence. Bringing it to the elegance. Showing off really what you have. And, and making making your investments work for you. Yeah. I mean, I remember working downtown oil and gas. And I, had, I was in the elevator bank uh, talking to a woman. She goes, God, it must be so difficult <laughs> finding pants that fit you. And I was like... No, you're tall. You're quite, not, you're quite tall. I am quite tall, but <laughs> you're, I'm like, you're quite tall. I'm like, not really. And she goes, well, why? I said, well, I'm a tailor. I Sorry, make maybe. my clothes for me. And she goes, well, that's that's wonderful. Yeah. And we both got off the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, great chat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. like, I don't know your name, and I'm sure you work on my floor, but I have no interest in getting to know you. <laughs> this must be hard getting pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, ma'am. No, it's not. <laughs> Because you know a guy. Yeah, exactly. It just <laughs> makes it for me. Easy peasy. You are the guy. Mm. Exactly. Just like your shoes. Just like my shoes. Yeah. yeah. The shoes are you. <laughs> you wear the shoe. I yes. mean, and again, I mean, we are, I am, Kimberly, oh, Kimberly as well is in Calgary. Yes. But I mean, if you're in Calgary, pop on by the shop. I'm tucked inside a store called Stuff off 11th Avenue and 7th Street. Super cute. Really cool stuff. Great little store, casual men's clothing, mm -hmm. um, and of course I'm in the back. I have the back part of the, the store here that I craft my suits out of and do alterations and whatnot. So feel free to pop in, come say hello, wave, knock on my door, go hey, I saw you on Instagram. <laughs> I wanted to say hi. I wanted to see your shoes. Happy to show you the shoes. Happy to show you cloth as well. I mean, I know a lot of guys right now don't really have to dress up as much, and they're buying more dress shirts, yeah. which is great. Um, so again, I can show you a whole line of dress shirt cloth um, in from Italy. Yeah. Everything I carry is going to be in from Europe. It's going to be from a mill that's been around forever that knows what they're doing. Yeah. Um, I know I just brought in a mill of cloth, and I'm gonna I'm gonna side sidestep a little here, but um, I just brought in a mill of cloth, and they're a fifth generation French company, Ooh. which I love. But the Ooh, difference la, la. the difference with them is that they 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 dye their fabrics individually or fibers individually so what they do is they take wool and they take the fibers and dye them individually and they take all of those colors so if there's seven colors they will twist them into a yarn and then weave it into a cloth Ooh. and so it's so dynamic that's incredible the way the color of this turns out so it's not just fabric dyed in a, in a vat of, of coloring it's actual fibers that are dyed and then twisted together and then woven into a cloth which is so unique wow so there's such a depth to the color which I really really love but the attention to detail yeah. again bringing it all back to a Spanish made shoe premium leathers yes I mean you can't get much better than Spanish leather no and and you'll feel that quality and you see that quality and it'll stand the test of time yep yeah, they're incredibly soft, these leathers. They're not stiff. They're yeah. easy on the foot, right? Yeah. Absolutely. No, and again, going back to the way that the soles are done, the bottoms of the shoes are so important for everything. I mean, inexpensive shoes won't have the quality or, or attention to detail into them, but these do. So what happens at the bottom of the shoes is that the cork is actually applied in evenly, which I love. Yeah. It's done, it's, it's hot cork. So Blows it's not, mind. not just a template that's like, sucked on there and no. then they sew the shoe together yeah it's actually molded into it and the great thing about all of that and we'll get back into the shoe tree in a second um is that when you wear the shoe and when that shoe heats up with you it actually molds around your foot so then it creates like its own little support system yeah. for your foot because your foot when you walk on it as we all know um we have different pressure points in our feet right um, and that's, I mean, I, I'm a fan of Ferragamo shoes. I've always been a fan of Ferragamo shoes. They started off as an orthopedic um, kind of company where they really focused on the foot, and that's what they did well. And I've always loved their driving loafers. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, they, they still last forever. Oh, everything. yeah. Yeah. And it's the same thing with these shoes. They are made from premium leather. They mold to your foot, not only at the sole of the shoe, but around the shoe as well, which I really, really quite enjoy about a good quality crafted shoe. Yes. Yeah. I think that's really one of the most important things to be looking for. Is, yeah. You know, how many hours in the day are you standing? Yeah. Why would you settle to have some subpar quality sole? Right. That's where the pressure hits the ground. Yeah. That's where the 
really the attention should be focused there. Right. I don't know why we haven't really been thinking about this before, and why this is not more of like... Why would you want sore feet at the exactly. end of the day? You know? No. Like, why, why do you, would you do why, that to yourself? Why would you go out? Why would you do that? <laughs> and work an eight-hour shift somewhere no. or in an office and go home going, I need to put my feet up because they hurt. No, like, that's nonsense. No, you've got better things to do in your evening than sit around with your feet up in the air exactly. watching, like, watching Netflix. Exactly, like a bucket of ice? Like, <laughs> yeah. what is this? No. No, you no. want to be able to go out and do things after work without feeling tired. Yeah, go on a picnic in the park. Picnic in the park in your patent loafers. Oh, my goodness. Or your patent lace-ups, rather. I'm so used to saying loafers, I don't know why. That's okay. Yeah. That's, I mean, course, I love a good loafer. Of course it's okay. I love a loafer, but... <laughs> no, and I mean, that's the great thing about quality-made goods. Yes. Is that they last you. Yes. Um, and I don't know if it was... May I talk to oh, you about Oh, please. Yeah. I don't know if it was... I think I was reading somewhere um, that the founder of Hermes had quoted luxury as something that can be... Um, Luxury is not expensive things. It's things that can be um, recrafted. Oh. Yeah. So luxury okay. isn't always about the price tag. Yes. I mean, we can spend, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars on an, on an overcoat easily with yes. some Vicuna. Um, but it's nice to have luxury in a way where you spend good money for premium products. Yes. And you can have it throughout its lifetime. Yes, and I think that's so important to put your money to good use. Yeah. Uh, like why Especially would you, during this time. Exactly. I would feel horrible spending my money on a pair of shoes that maybe looked great yeah. and someone was like, oh, they're made with some attention to detail versus being able to find a shoe that you know is impeccable quality. Yeah. The craftsmanship is there. The materials are just extremely high quality. So supple. They're so supple. They're yeah. so soft. They're moldable, which is great. I mean, and these shoes they're are meant to be worn yeah. I mean, and used. That's where you should be putting your money. Why are you wasting your money on crap shoes? Sorry, right. but like, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know why people are throwing their money down the drain yeah. when you can easily have a pair of shoes yeah. ordered in for your size in high quality materials and yeah. craftsmanship. And these are going to last you what? Years. 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 And 10. 10, 15 years, I mean, if you have them resold easily. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and you wear them with everything. Yeah. It's the most basic, easy to integrate into your wardrobe. I mean... I don't know why you haven't done this before. Denim. Chinos. Yes. Your dress slacks. Yes. Okay, what do you think of dress shorts? Okay, so here's my... Well, we need to talk shorts. about dress shorts for a hot second. <laughs> <laughs> Could we wear dress shorts with these? Because I'm seeing them and I don't know... They so, make me uncomfortable. The man's <laughs> legs make me a little uncomfortable. But so I have shorts that I've done on a wool that are like a mid-thigh wool short. <laughs> that being said, they don't look like a flannel. They look like a regular cotton short. But what I love about them is that they're so light. I just, I get the vision of like little British schoolboys in... Mm. in Little Prince George. Little wearing, Prince George <laughs> with his little like, shorts. his little shorts and his little sock like socks pulled up and his yeah. little dress shoes and they're just like running around town. Yay, look at us. No, <laughs> I you know, I will throw on a striped dress shirt. Yeah. Like a nice blue striped dress shirt. I will put on either a pair of black, um, herringbone or I, I have a silk blend Ooh. of a of a nice little dress short that I'll wear. And then throw it on with the monk strap. Yeah. Because the monk strap is a casual shoe. Yeah. Like it's it's what the Oxford University students used to wear back in the day and still, I'm sure, do. It's that casual shoe yeah. that you can wear out but still be dressy. Like it's, I'm going out to dinner, I'm going out to coffee. Yeah. Um, it's, I'm meeting the team for coffee in the morning, but I'm also going to the boardroom in the afternoon and then I have to meet my wife later on or girlfriend yeah. or partner. Um, after, after work hours, we're going out for a nibble or for a walk around because again, you can walk in these shoes. Yes. They won't kill your feet. No, I mean, yeah. the shoe is you. You are the shoe. <laughs> yeah. We're going to make that the slogan. Okay. That's just going to be, you are the shoe. I mean, be the, the shoe. shoe. Where are you? Be, be the shoe. Be the shoe. Yeah. Be the shoe you want to be. Yeah, exactly. And I will make sure that they are properly shined and maintained over their lifetime. Yeah. I will always follow up with you to say, Hey, are you, are you taking care of your stuff? Because... You know, yeah, it's, it's important. It's an investment. Yeah, I mean, you want to take care of your investments. You wouldn't buy a nice, you know, three quarter of a million dollar home no. and wear it to the ground. No. You're going to want to make sure it's maintained all the time, right? Exactly. Just like with your car, you're not just yeah. going to let it, you know, 
die out, you're gonna be take pride in it. That's you're right. gonna you're like, not gonna let it rust or they go no. bad. You're gonna take it to the car wash and have it cleaned and yeah. and maintained and all exactly. that kind of stuff. Unless it's, it's a beater and you can't really afford a good one, and and then at that point, you know, save for the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> the shoe. You are the shoe. You know no. what? I think this is so exciting, and I've you know as we said before, we've known each other for a really long time, yeah. and I think it's hilarious to think how we started in 2007 in the fashion resource center Seneca cataloging and you know and then being able to find each other again now across the country we are birthday twins as well we are we're birthday, birthday twins, twins. so yes. we have a really cool cool dynamic here and yeah. and I love seeing how you've evolved and really the confidence you have and and what you're doing like this is incredible like I'm oh, so proud you. of your friend. I'm so <laughs> proud to know you. And I'm like, tell everyone, I'm like, I'm like, my friend Calvin is a bespoke tailor. So if anyone knows me, like, anytime I introduce you, it's not just my friend Calvin. It's my friend Calvin, who is a bespoke tailor here in Calgary. And I just, I want to take this moment. Let's cheers. I think yes. this is so exciting yeah. that you have to the shoes, new shoe line. The shoe. Be the, the shoe, shoe you want to be. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Congratulations. It's this Thank is so you. exciting. And your clients and, and your future clients, this is. This is really cool. This is really exciting, and I'm excited. I mean, it's just the beginning. I yes. wanted to start off easy. Again, I'm a calculated risk type of person. Yes. The shoes will come in. We start with blacks. There will be three different shades of browns down the road. Yes. An ox blood red is coming in. Mm. But as well, there will be a full line of belts as well that nice. go with it. That nice. pair with the shoes perfectly. Beautiful. And, you know... Um, everything sourced either from Italy. I bring. I'm planning on bringing the hardware in from Italy and having um, a proper a proper guy craft those belts together, which nice. is great. Um, accessories are coming down the line. We're having bow ties come in. <laughs> Love a good bow tie. Bow ties are coming in. Ties are coming in. Yay! Um, I'm having custom pocket squares done. Yes. So there's a whole line of things that are actually coming in along with it. I mean, for a lot of people, the last couple of years they've struggled. Yeah. Um, I've been lucky enough. Um, and I don't know if it's just because I've got a horseshoe shoved up my what now. Um, <laughs> but I've, I've been really fortunate with my clients. They've stuck with me. Um, and the, all of the business I've got over the last you know year and a half has been really good for me. And there's been a lot of growth in the company, yes. which allows me to do this, to create something that's special for my clients. Um, and ultimately, I mean, uh, we'll get to a point later in the fall where they can just come in and, and just purchase the shoe as it is. I mean, there's no need to pre-order along the way. But because we are launching the shoe, because yes. this is all new to me, um, you can go on to calvinbuttsbespoke.com. The blockbuster showstopper of this Ooh. evening is $180 value for free with every shoe you order. So nice. the shoe tree. Yes. Again, we'll go back to the shoe tree because it's so, it's so freaking important for a <laughs> shoe tree. I don't know. People just don't really understand the importance of a shoe tree. Well, you're not going to buy a toothbrush and not the toothpaste. Right. I mean, that's weird, <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work on that one. We'll get it somewhere. Sorry, that was weird. <laughs> but, yeah, no, exactly. I mean, you're not going to brush your teeth without toothpaste. That's just not how it's going to work. Nope. No, but the shoe tree is there to help the shoe maintain its shape. Yes. So, again, we produce half a, half a cup of sweat a day That's wearing our really, shoes really and it gross. just stays <laughs> it just gross. stays in your shoe and so i mean you could take your shoes off and leave them around yeah but they will crease along that lower part of that bridge there yeah um and that moisture will stay in the shoe and what i love about my shoe trees is that they're cedar and cedar is super absorbent in terms of a wood okay. so what happens is it it absorbs all of the moisture on the inside of that leather so it maintains the leather it dries that shoe out in the form that it's become. So again, the premium leather really molds around your foot. Um, so it absorbs all that. It takes the odors out and it just allows that shoe to stay better longer for a yes. longer period of time. And it's sharp looking. It is. It, it, you, you know, know open your wardrobe and you see your shoes lined up and you see just... The gold details. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's really, really cool. Yeah. You know, and it pops. Like... It pops right off the black. Yes. You're yeah. not shoving Shut like newspaper or something in there no you're yeah. investing in although that's shoes. not a bad option either if you're if you don't have shoe tree newspaper is the next best option yes yeah i use little charcoal packets because oh who knew yeah <laughs> maybe you don't wear socks with a lot of shoes so. right yeah well i mean if you're wearing no shows or if you're not wearing socks at all in your shoes get a cedar tree it's so important that you pre-order <laughs> yes. to get the free cedar tree yes. valued at $180. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why wouldn't you? Why I don't, wouldn't I, you? I don't know why you wouldn't. Yeah. You're getting the shoes anyways. Yeah. 
so why would you pre-order to get them now before other people so you can really have that step ahead and yeah. be like look what i just got custom for me and i got this really awesome shoe tree yeah absolutely. for free absolutely to keep them looking incredible yeah. it's just it's i don't know why you wouldn't right and that's the big thing. I like, don't know why you wouldn't. Somebody tell me why you wouldn't. Please, anybody. <laughs> yeah, tell in the comments below. Tell me why I'm wrong. <laughs> somebody prove me wrong. Well, and that's just it. I mean, come August, I know we're coming around to our second vaccinations here. A lot of people have, have been lucky enough to get their seconds. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have gotten their first. And, you know, the job markets are opening back up. Oh, here. my gosh, yes. It's, it's really cool to see, you know, the life coming back it's, but it's, it's just, re it's, energetic it's, it's so different because a lot of entrepreneurs have come out and go listen i don't like my corporate life yeah no i want something else no people, like, I want something people are different. confident and that's yeah. a great pair of shoes gives you confidence yeah so when you're going out talking to investors or when you're going out and trying to land those accounts yeah you're looking sharp in a pair of shoes yes. like it's just it's so important to have a proper pair of footwear on yeah. your feet at all times your so, energy introduces you before you do and oh, these shoes, I like that. yeah, no, it's a great, it's, it's good. I'm filled with lots of little tidbits, um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's like, as you walk in, as you're presenting yourself, you're, you speak so much before you open your mouth. Okay. And these shoes with whatever you're wearing it with, whether it be, whether it's a custom tux or a suit or whatever, it's going to look great. Yeah. And you're going to look fabulous. Yeah. Even if it's just dressed down and you've got to throw on a dress shirt and a pair of jeans and yes. you want to roll them up. Yes. Cuffing the, them, wearing a chino. A monk strap. I Simple. love it. It's it so works. easy. It works. Yeah. So that's the line, guys. That's what it is. Again, you can pre-order for the pair of shoe trees. It's $180 value for free um, with every shoe you order. Um, you can see the full, well, the current collection yes. online. So the three beautiful shoes. Um, the patent ones have been spoken for. They are sold. Um, you can pre-order new ones online if you're looking for a patent shoe, if you're going to a wedding or an event. That's there for you as well. Yeah. That's not off the table. Um, but no, you have your whole cut, you have your monk strap, and you have your cap toe. Again, the brogues are coming later in the month, next month. Um, and we'll do another live stream to kind of get that going and, and look at those. But that's the collection. So. Thank you so much for tuning in and, and stopping by and, and seeing this. And Kimberly, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. <laughs> and um, no, we'll do this again very soon. And again, CalvinButtsBespoke.com. You can view that all online. Uh, thank you all for joining. And um, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Bye. Thanks so much. See you later. And I'll take my time shutting this thing off, but um, make it awkward and everything. But yeah. <laughs>